Hey, so Glenn, it's me, Adam here, and I got a great little script today. If you're getting these weird characters, let me share my screen here uh, as a demo. We did a side by side. This is before uh, you open your file like in Excel or some other tool, and you get these really weird characters in there. Um, they, they, they don't make any sense whatsoever, uh, and this is what they should be, right? This is what your file should have in it on the right. Over here on the left, this is how they look when you open them in Excel. Let me demo an actual file. So um, this is the interesting part to me. Here's the actual file, um, and in it, we can see the things. I don't see any weird characters, right? Like the preview. Here, you see those characters. When you open it in Excel, um, Excel somehow is messing it up. Because here we can see the importer is gibberish, right? So it's really annoying. Um, I've had this with a lot of files I'll download from the internet, like say, places like LinkedIn or SurveyGizmo or, or Alchemer or what websites where you do surveys. Um, what happens is they, they need the bomb, the byte order mark. Um, it's it's really complicated and as programming sense to explain it to you. But um, if you ever run into it, what you can do is launch our script. So you'll have the EXE. That's how we sell the tool. You launch it. And all you do is drag your file onto here, and it says, bam, it creates a new version, the same file name with a dash fixed. And now, if I open this file in Excel, you'll see these characters are correct now. So uh, I can't guarantee it'll always fix your problem, but if you're seeing those weird characters, um, this tool will very, very quickly update it for you and allow you to <laughs> go on your way because when I used to work in survey research, um, this would take me hours and hours to fix until I finally understood what was going on. And so we wrote a little tool. Yes, we're charging you for it, but you know what? Man, I, I would pay that seven bucks day in, day out every time as a you know, one-time use just to use it. Uh, but once you buy the tool, you, know, you get it and you can reuse it on other files. Um, I can, as I said, I can't guarantee it's going to fix your problem, but if you're seeing those weird characters, chances are it's it's gonna help you so hope you enjoyed that please like the video if you um i'd go into the details about what we're doing but it's so technical and i think the average person watching this isn't going to really care so hope that helps you um so much i'm so glad that i was able to create this i wish i had it when i was doing this kind of work have a great day cheers